live music coming with singer-songwriter Stephen Sprout, probably best known for his expertise on the ukulele across the UK and America. Stephen's taught literally thousands of people to play the ukulele over the years, including TV's Nicky Campbell, Harry Hill, and the celebrated actor Sir Tom Courtney, and has recently featured in a BBC4 programme with Frank Skinner on George Formby. And I'm delighted to say a very good morning to Stephen today. Hello, how are you? I'm um, very well, thank you, and thanks for having me on the show. It's an absolute pleasure. I'm a massive fan of the ukulele. Um, oh, brilliant. Even when you were sound checking, what did I say to you? I said, I want you to go straight into I'll See You in My Dreams. It's, yeah. It's, it's that unmistakable sound. It's just beautiful, it is. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and very popular right now as well. Well, listen, yeah. we'll talk about all that. Yeah. I'm delighted that you're going to perform a couple of numbers live for us as well. Yeah. You? What's yeah. this first one? First one is uh, one of my songs. It's called Highly Overrated. Brilliant. Let's take a listen. Okay. Stressed in a mess, not at all blessed, not a high card left in your hand, maybe time to step back from a long railroad track, see this ghost train of a journey. What it is, ba ba da, ba 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 da, ba 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 da da, ba 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 da da, ba 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 da, ba 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 da da. You try hard to sleep, but there's ten other things all fighting for your time. How can you relax at night when your mind goes into overdrive? It's high, it's high time you left this train and it's high, highly overrated, it's highly overrated, always late. Fantastic. Absolutely uh, brilliant. Highly overrated and original by uh, Stephen Sprout. Uh, it was him singing and playing as well. Um, you're at one with that instrument, aren't you? When, when did this love affair start? Oh, when I was about 10. Uh, so it goes back quite a long time um, without giving my age away. Yeah, back in the early 70s, let's put it like that. Uh, why not guitar? Um... For me, it was just the accessibility of the ukulele. It was the it was the kind of portability that appealed to me. I thought, yeah, that looks cool. And, and my father was a big George Formby fan, right. so I'd already had the indoctrination of Formby and the ukulele and stuff. And I thought, yeah, that's the instrument for me. Be a bit different. How difficult has it been, sort of, getting the ukulele heard? Um, well, it was it was a real struggle actually. When I when I started in the really in the seventies, I was playing a lot of like working men's clubs and pubs around the northeast. And at the time, I was a big David Bowie fan, so I had like dyed blonde hair or dyed red hair, black PVC trousers, and here I was playing a banjo ukulele or something. So they didn't quite know what to make of me, but. Um, I kind of got the novelty vote, I think, really. And but but I really struggled in the eighties and the nineties when electronica and when you know pop music moved well away from kind of acoustic stuff. And it's really only come it's swung back into fashion because there is a, a resurgence of interest in acoustic instruments now. It's amazing now, isn't it? Because yeah. you've got the Big ukulele thing. orchestra and all right. that sort of business. Yeah. Were well, you part of that? Well, I had the pleasure of playing with them. They they asked me to um, play with them at Ronnie Scott's in uh, I think it was about. 1989 and um, I think that really kicked off a kind of a, a ukulele movement I'm not saying it all started there but certainly the ukulele orchestra were kind of radical um, and that was you know it, again that was like 89 so it's uh, yeah, they, they definitely started something it, it's incredible because more and more people are playing it now yeah. I know and, and for, for, for people listening who may be thinking of taking mm. up the guitar yeah. why would they take up the ukulele instead 
Um, there's lots of reasons, really. I mean, ukulele relatively is simpler than guitar, I would say, um, until you get onto the very tricky stuff, you know, yeah. the, the complica complicated stuff. But, um, you know, ukulele, um, it just appeals. People hear it and go, ah, oh. it's got the cute factor. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And actually, it makes you feel better, I feel, as well. Yes. It's almost like a tonic. It makes you want to smile. It does, yeah. straight away. It's amazing, yeah. isn't it? It is. And that's, that's down to the sound of it. Yeah, it is. And, um, you know, as I say, it's relatively easy to play. Uh, the, there's some very good instruments available now at a very affordable price. You know, so there's a lot of choice now. Well, there uh, you go. Frank Skinner can play it, and Harry Hill. Harry there Hill. You go. That's right. So Tom Courtney, and um, and uh, you know Nicky Campbell, and and lots more besides. I mean, there's lots of celebrities that play uke. Uh, you, you trained as a red coat, didn't you? Uh, how did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a vicious rumor, he says. Yeah. <laughs> that um, must have been a, a I, good, I good, good training, though. It was, yeah. That, Where that, were you? Uh, I was at Filey. Right. No longer there. Nothing to do with me, I hope. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was uh, about 1980. Uh, it was good training, actually, because it, you used to do a lot of cabaret work and, you know, uh, mingling with, um, you know, uh, customers and getting to know people and talking and etc, etc. So it was good training ground, yeah. Uh, and you're a man of faith as well, aren't you? I am, yeah, yeah. Do you ever um, play at church? I, I, funny enough, I, I have occasionally played ukulele at church, but I do play guitar as well as ukulele, right. so I do lead worship um, in church as well. Um, and, um, yeah, I, faith's very important to me. So um, I can imagine the ukulele being brilliant in a, in a service, because as you say, you know, it makes you feel better. That's yeah. exactly what you want. You know? yeah. Maybe instead of listening to a long sermon, you just get your ukulele <laughs> out. What do you think? <laughs> Why not? Why not, yeah. <laughs> have, have you always been a man of faith, then? Um, my introduction to um, Christianity and to music was probably the Salvation Army, actually. My mum kind of, she'll be listening to this and she'll be, what are you saying? Um, but she kind of frog-marched us off, us kids, to the Salvation Army um, in Leadgate in, in Durham, where I'm from. And, um, you know, that definitely had an influence. You know, there was definitely a lot of, uh, I, was, uh, I might not have recognised it then, but I, I recognise it now, looking back, mm. the, the power of the music. And, and also, obviously, a lot of the message. But I actually came back to faith. I went away from Christianity uh, in my teens, and I came back to it at about the age of 20. Right. When I became a Christian in Bournemouth in 1980. So, so hymns work with the ukulele, do they? Well, yeah, I think, I think you can get away with uh, the odd one. Um, I'm not sure all of them work, but some of them do, yeah. Well, listen, I, I'm, I'm delighted that you've turned up and, and talked to us today. Yeah, pleasure. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, of your work, and I, th I think that what you do That's with the ukulele is absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, you're going to perform another uh, track for us. Do you want to have a slug of water just I before you I think I will, actually. You might yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is pretty hot this is, in the this studio. Is a, uh, this is a Alone Again Naturally. Uh, it's uh, yes, yeah. going to work, isn't it? You, yeah, you know already. Um, this is Stephen Sproke performing a live uh, Alone Again Naturally. Feeling any less how I promise myself to treat myself and visit a nearby town and climbing to the top will throw myself off in an effort to make it clear to hope ever what it's like when you're shattered left standing in the lurch at a church where people are saying my god that's tough she stood him up no point in us remaining we may as well go home I did on my own, alone again, naturally To think that only yesterday, I was cheerful, bright and gay Looking forward to all who wouldn't do the role I was about to play But as if to knock me down, reality came around And without so much as a mere touch, cut me into little pieces Leaving me to doubt Talk about God in his mercy, who if he really does exist, why did he desert me in my hour of need? I truly am indeed alone again, naturally. It seems to me that there are more hearts broken in the world than can be mended, left unattended. Too. 
centrally And looking back over the years Whatever else that appears I remember I cried when my father died Never wishing to hide the tears And at 65 years old My mother, God rest her soul Couldn't understand why the only man She had ever loved had been taken Leaving her to start With a heart so badly broken Despite encouragement from me No words were ever spoken When she passed away I cried and cried all day Alone again Naturally Alone again Naturally Stephen Sproat live alone again naturally and no disrespect to anyone else that's performed live on this program in the six years or so I've been doing it but that's been my favourite honestly thank uh, you very much it's, wow. what a tonic you are it's absolutely oh. uh, absolutely brilliant honestly wow. thank you very much um, how, how do you do that thing in the middle with your guitar with your whole hand <laughs> it's like a blah, 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 sound <laughs> oh it's a kind again. of a, um It's what they call a fan stroke, but we'd need half an hour to go into that. I need to have lessons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stephen, thanks so much. And uh, if people want to hear more of you live, where can they go? Can yeah, they uh, the Stables Theatre at Milton Keynes, um, playing there on Saturday the 19th of November, so not too far off. You'd be mad not to go. Thanks so much for your coming. <laughs> Thank you very morning. much for having me. All the best. Brilliant. Thank you.